and I am Luis Lugo. Some third grade T classes have been working on some PowerPoints. How cool is that? It looks like they're about the solar system. We bring you more info with Autumn Ramos and some third grade students. Autumn? Here I am with a third grade teacher, Ms. Galvan, telling us about her students' uh, PowerPoint. Why did you want your students to learn about our solar system? Well, uh, part of the third grade science curriculum is learning about the solar system in relation to the Earth and the sun. And so we thought it'd be great for the students to be able to elaborate on what they're learning in re during regular science class during ET. They were able to research. They each got assigned their own individual planets and the sun and Pluto. And so they each were able to research and become experts on their planet and make a PowerPoint presentation, which was so interesting for them because they had never used PowerPoint before. Most of them had never used PowerPoint before. How did you come up with the idea of your students making a PowerPoint? Um, well, when Savala started the Fast Forward program, that's when we kind of redid our ET groups. And as third grade, we decided we wanted to really make it very uh, te about technology. We wanted to expose our students to publisher and PowerPoint, maybe Photo Story or Animoto, just different software. And so we decided to go ahead and start with PowerPoint. And we let the students play with it and learn about it on their own. And then they were able to apply what they're learning to making their research project about their planet. And it was so great, because we just think technology is so important. Thank you for your answers. By Jinamar Aguilar. Diameter. Venus' diameter or distance through its center is about 7,500 miles, 12,100 kilometers. Solid due to its gases composition. Jupiter's temperature at day is 160 at Neptune is 202.8 billion miles from the sun. Diameter. Neptune's diameter is 31,000 miles. During Science Lab, students created a paper mache model of the entire solar system. I am here with Matthew Martinez, a third grader from Miss Delagar's class. What are the two plans you selected and why? The two planets I selected was Venus and Mars. I selected Venus because it is 7,521 miles and it is the hottest planet. It is hot day and night. I also selected Mars because it catches my attention because it's so red and it's a beautiful sight to see. Thank you for your answer. I'm here with Jay Garza, a third grader from Mrs. Hicks' class. How difficult was it to make your PowerPoint? Well, we've been working on the solar system for three weeks now, and I've done a PowerPoint in GT, so it wasn't that difficult. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Autumn, for that scientific report. Have you ever thought how would we like to go back in time? Well. I got the chance to spend an afternoon with some kids who did just that. Let's go to the second grade wing. We are here reporting with second grade and they're going to take us back to the future. Where are you going to take us on this time capsule? Well, we're trying to, pick, we're trying to capture our memories so when we grow up we can open it and we can figure out who we are and what we are. Thank you. What does your time capsule consist of? This is a picture of when I was a baby, and this is a picture that, that I had cut out when I was still of the, the month in November, and my grandma took this picture. I also included this family tree. Thank you. What are you going to do with the time capsule, and where are you going to put it? We're going to put it somewhere safe, ten, and then 10 years from now, we can open it up and see when we were a baby or a little kid in second grade. Thank you. Wasn't that a great blast to the past? It sure was, Luis. 
Now we will be back after this commercial break. This Saturday, the Savala PTA will be holding a barbecue brisket plate fundraiser from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Tickets are only $6 per plate and include barbecue brisket with the trimmings. Plates will be served at Savala Elementary. So go out and sell or buy a ticket today. Now we bring you special reporter, Peter Villarreal. Peter got the inside scoop from our very own Coach Cano on what Jump for, for Heart is all about. Let's go to the gym. Who benefits from Jump Rope for Heart? The ones that benefit from uh, Jump Rope for Heart are the American Heart Association. These are kids and also adults that have heart problems. They uh, are, are needing um, research for, for heart problems. And we know that, that students that collect money, all this money will go to the research that will help uh, adults and children with heart problems. What was the amount collected for Jump Rope for Heart? Every year it's different, the amount that's collected. We are making a goal of over $1,000. We have already almost reached $1,000, so we're hoping that it goes over $1,000 this year. Thank you. Can you please show us a demonstration of what the children are going to do at Jump Rope for Heart? Sure. Peter, you're one of my good jump ropers, but I also have two jump ropers over here that are going to demonstrate some of the skills that they're going to be doing there in Jump Rope for Heart. We have the basic bounce. Okay, we have the side swing jump. Side swing jump. Okay, we also have the we also have the the bell, which is front and back, front and back. Okay, and we also have the skier, which is the side to side. Very good, girls. And I want Peter to hang on to this, to this rope. And we have some more jump rope skills that I want to show. And I know my interviewer here, Peter, wants to join in and, and show him some of the skills. So, Peter, can you help us? I'll tell you what. We're going to do the partner jump right here. Face-to-face -face partner jump. You get that one. You get that one behind you. And oh, actually, you. Okay, and we're going to do the partner jump face to face. Ready and start. Good job. Stop. Now we can get both of them and we're going to do the side to side. We can do this one. This one's a side to side partner jump. All right, here we go. Get behind. Peter, get behind. There you go. One, two, and three. Very good. And those are some of the skills that we're going to be doing at the Jump Rope for Heart. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter, for that jump-tastic report. Don't forget, next week is Texas Public School Week. Check with your teacher for all the activities that will be going on. Our news team will be bringing live coverage all week. Thank you for joining us on Zavala Owls Weekly News. I'm Galicia Nana Verde. I'm Luis Lugo. Until next time. And remember, you're watching news from the best school in the universe. If you like this story or any other story featured here, please send us your comments or like us on our Facebook page. We welcome all your comments and requests. 